hey there, Alan from Mural Junkie. How's it going? Hey, are you uh, a gadget junkie? Do you have lots of electrical stuff hooked up on your Ural? I am. And uh, the connections are kind of getting out of hand. So today, I am going to try out a bus bar. And I have a link to it down in the description in case anyone wants to try this out as well. Um, but uh, let's see if we can clean things up and make it a little bit easier uh, on the battery under the seat. So let's go. Wow, what a mess that is. Wires everywhere. Yikes. Let's see, uh, let's see what we can do to clean this mess up, okay? Plus, I hate this plastic cover. We're going to change that, too. So, it looks like I have four hot wires, four ground wires, plus two wires that are stock. Goes the alternator and someplace else. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put a zip tie around these factory wires. And then I'm going to cut this stupid thing off. Awesome. And to replace that, I'm going to use a really nice squishy silicone cover. So this particular wire is really long. So I am going to, uh, to cut it. Ow! So I'm cutting that much wire off of it. Okay, so I have now soldered these wires together and uh, used some three to one shrink wrap. So these are uh, ready to go to the next step. And again, we eliminated a whole bunch of junk wire that was no good. Okay, so here's a conundrum. I can either use this bus bar where this bolts onto the battery terminal and the extra wires go to these screws and it has a little cover that goes onto it like so. So I can use that or I can take some of these terminals and kind of wire them together and uh, put a new loop on it. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I'm not quite sure yet. Well, that's kind of what it looked like <clears throat> with the uh, bus bar on. Uh, of course, I'd have to do something with the terminals. And I'm going to I'd have to lengthen this wire so it will loop around the back. But, uh, well, maybe not, uh, maybe not too bad. I think I will wire it up with the, uh, with this terminal block bus bar. And, uh, so let's give that a try. Okay, so I lengthened the, uh, the blue wire, um, soldered it together with another piece of wire that I found and I stuck a ring connector on it and these are really nice again because they have um, heat shrink uh, around them with uh, adhesive in them so nice and secure so given that let's uh, modify these other guys so that they fit and I'm gonna do it haphazardly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with these connectors is instead of replacing the connector, I am gonna slot it 
I'm just going to snip that snip. Maybe a little bit more. And then we'll kind of squeeze it down a little bit. Now, let's see how it fits on here. Let's see, that's good. So, yeah, so that's pretty good. Um, I'll do that to the rest of them. So these are the uh, little covers we're going to use. However, I did modify this and I cut a slot in it and a couple little grooves and that is so it will fit nicely on here. And there's going to be a little bit of exposed bus so I think I will cover that and to cover up this piece of metal that will be exposed we're going to use a piece of uh, self-vulcanizing rubber we've cut all of the things that we needed to cut for the positive side Let's put it on the bus bar and see what it looks like. So, <clears throat> put this guy on. We are going to thread these things through like this, all the positives. There's one. Here's another one. Here's another one should be four if I remember and then finally the blue one okay and then we will take the bus bar and start sticking these guys on Like so, and like so, we got one more left. Pop him in here. This bus bar is made of copper. Looks like it's tin plated, um, but it's uh, pretty much solid copper. And since I put a new ring on this one, we are going to have to put a screw in it. Okay, that's what the bus bar looks like. And then you take this guy, flip him around, and snap it in place, just like that. Okay, there's our, uh, our bus bar are all hooked up. And the only thing we do is stick this on the battery and uh, tighten it up. So I am going to stick the new plug covers on these, and I guess we can start on the negatives, the ground wires. Okay, we have the, uh, the positive all hooked up here, and it's definitely, uh, definitely much tidier. Um, those are the two main OEM uh, wires that are on top of the, uh, the bus bar. The negative terminals actually are a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. Um, we only had to hook up three of them, plus the OEM, the OEM ground here. Um, have it all threaded up. So let's put, uh, let's put this on. Put the cover on here, and then we can screw it together. Okay, well, there's, uh, there's the bus bar all installed. Negative side, positive side, all nice and tight. Um, I can't say that it really tidies uh, everything up too much, 
Although I will say that because of the bus bars, <clears throat> it's uh, much easier to get the wires out of the way and to get the battery in and out. So we'll give this a try, see, uh, see how it holds up. But uh, yeah, there we go, bus bars. And here's the uh, the new rubber boot over the uh, terminal. Looks pretty good, nice and soft, stays there. So uh, yeah, that worked out just fine. Thanks a bunch, and I will see you guys next time.